Brooks Gibbs. I am so excited tonight. I'm here with my very good friend, Darlene Myers. And if you don't know, she is an amazing artist. I've seen the work that she's done. And as I started my journey, wanting to do little lessons of life, you and I talked about we did. that, didn't we? We did. And we shared a lot of stories about not just trying to do something, but create something that would really change the energy that people feel about life. And so I was drawn to have Darlene do this because I've seen her work mm -hmm. and I have seen the effort that you put into it, not just in the form of art, but in the form of your heart. And, Thank you. <laughs> and, and so I wanted to just do a little kind of a quick interview before we do the unveiling. <laughs> so tell me. Your experience of doing this, and, and you've shared a couple things on the phone as we've talked. I have. But I would love for you to share here with everybody what the journey has been for you and what this means for you. Um, well, first of all, I was really excited that Brooks even considered having me be part of that. I think that was a great honor just in and of itself. Um, I admire Brooks. I love, I love that he has a great um, ability to be, a, he's a parable teller, a storyteller, <laughs> and he has great insight, stories. and I and I admire that. I think that's a great gift. And so I got really excited when he kind of had an idea and kind of presented it to me. I was like, I would be honored and thrilled to be able to be part of that. Um, so part of what I do when I start a painting is, you know, I get some feedback. I find out what the person, you know, it's kind of, it's what they're just thinking a little bit. Um, but I, I tend to pray about it and I try to um, find out what God wants um, not just like what they what he wants for them like how he what he pictures for that and so and I don't really even know how to explain what I do honestly sometimes I get dreams sometimes I um, receive inspiration like I'll, I'll have an idea and I move forward with it but if it's not right I literally get stopped <laughs> and this painting um, I have had some paintings that I did that have taken me longer, that I've had opposition, that's what I call it, just struggles. Things will come up in my life and they'll, they'll stop me from doing things that I want to do, like paint, and, um, and it's harder. And I've had a few paintings like that and I've known because of that, that the paintings I was working on were important. And so I believe this painting, Brooks, wow. was important because I had some opposition. And um, honestly, until I fixed the person last night and decided to just take her out <laughs> and redo her. Oh no, someone was taken um, out. <laughs> <laughs> redo it. Then it went really smooth. And so then it was like a confirmation to me that what I was doing, that I finally figured it out. You know, um, this is really powerful to me because what you're revealing right now is a little lesson in life. Because what's really interesting about life is when... Things start feeling like you're being held back. Mm. You can look at it as I'm being held back, or you can look at it as that I'm really getting close to a breakthrough. Yeah. And it's kind of that what it is. Every time when you think about it, a breakthrough means I've had to push harder right. to get it through something because I knew that there was something big on the other side. And I had to put that effort into it. And so can I share with you how important this is to me? I'm I am I am so grateful that we, you have to wait until you see it. <laughs> I, I I don't have to wait. I, I know already. But but to me, when I started this journey um, a while ago, what I recognized is that our world today is just filled with a lot of noise and a lot of commotion and a lot of turmoil. And like anything that's in turmoil, what it really recognizes is there's a lot of opportunity and not a lot of opportunity to grow because. Things aren't just stagnant, they're stirring. So people's yeah. hearts and minds are stirring. And as they're stirring, they're more open to find things that are truthful to them. And so my journey, as I started this, was sharing little pieces of light so that you could find that. Yeah. And I really wanted to create something that would embody that in a, an, an art form. And so I'm so very, very grateful that you chose to do that because what happens is when you visually see something or you hear it in words or whatever, when you touch your heart, you open up the door of change. 
it isn't your mind that really creates change, it's your heart. That's and true. that's what I'm really excited about. So, anything else that you want to share? Oh, there's lots of stuff about the, the painting itself. Um, we can talk a little bit about it, like some of the stuff, maybe what that represents or why well, I did what we did. Over. But when, so I have a question to ask you. You asked me at one point to go take some pictures with family yes, and kids and stuff yes. like that. And I, I shared with you th those pictures. And what's interesting is I got a lot of feedback from people on that who loved those pictures. I know. So cute. Yeah. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to see what kind of, what inspired you from that that went into this. Too. Okay. So, yeah. So I'm really, really excited. So okay. Are you ready for this? I, I'm ready. Are you guys ready for this? I think we're all ready for this. So okay. let's let's do this. Okay. Oh my gosh. So do you want to take it off? No, go ahead. I okay. want I want I just want to see how this okay. turned out. All right. Oh my gosh. Look at their faces. Oh my gosh, look at that. Is that just amazing? Oh, can I hold it? Yes, please. Look at that. I love the energy of that. And I love, I love the background too. Because it ties all of nature in and it looks, it's just amazing to me. You know, I tell a story of the lake. Oh, I didn't know that. I do. And I, I share a story of the lake and having that in life, there are the things that are physical that we see in life. And then there are things that we see that are the light or the reflection. Oh, yeah. And when we have the perfect reflection, when we are calm, if we're the lake, we reflect the spirit of everything that's around us. And I've never shared that with you. No, you haven't, actually. Is, is that amazing? I've never shared it. And I, I share that story a lot wow. about the lake. Actually, that was part of my insight when I was writing like certain things down oh, was the reflection gosh. on how that is a reflection of yourself and your own personal growth and, and your light, you know, and it reflecting it, like this reflects from the light of the... That is one of the stories that I share. I call it the mountain lake. I, the mountain lake and that's one of the ones that Very you see cool. in this. Very and nice. I literally talk about that, and that's one of the ones that people are the most impactful. And I can tell you a couple of things that just, to me, are just amazingly powerful. And that is, I love the excitement and the energy in the face there. And I love the entertainment and the joy that's in the face of the families and people that are watching. And I love the fact that it's in nature, and I love... The tree. Me too. The tree is like a, um, well, it's just all grounded and rooted, and it's like a, a, a sign of like, what I was thinking is almost like the, when you cut a tree and you see all the little yeah. rings, those are like what's inside us, all the stories and the... Oh my gosh, this, I've never thought of that. The, like, so we also have all our stories That's... inside, it's just like the rings, and, the, and it's our life history, just like it's their life history. And what's, what's really cool about that is I also tell a story of the tree. Oh. Can I share with you what I've learned from a tree? One day, I was I was out at my house looking at a tree in the front yard, and I went, man, that tree is just beautiful. It's just yeah. really beautiful. And I literally walked outside, and I sat down on the grass in front of this tree, and I said out loud to the tree, I said, I'm here to learn. What do you have to teach me? And as I sat in front of that tree, these thoughts came into my heart and soul, and it said, look at the tree, and look how it is rooted into the earth. And it has sunk its roots deep into the earth where it can take all of the wisdom and the nature, the, the, the moisture and everything that brings life to the tree up through that. And it's firm and it holds it firm and it holds it in place. And it said to me, be the tree. Be firm in your convictions, in your values, and in who you are. Be very firm in that. And then I looked at the tree, and I saw as it went up, it stretched out its branches towards the light and the sky. And in every moment, the tree is stretching to be the best, best tree that it could ever be. And it's always growing and expanding and putting its branches out there. And that said to me, be the best you can be in your life every day, always striving to stretch for the light and be the fullness of your potential. And that's what the tree did. And then I watched as the breeze came through the tree and mm -hmm. as the tr branches moved back and forth with the breeze and things that were going on. And it said to me, be flexible in your environment while you are firm 
in your convictions. I'm glad you said that, because that's what I was thinking. Yay. Yeah. That's awesome. You are firm in your convictions where you're rooted, but you're flexible in your daily experience. Right. The people that you meet, the things that you do, they, they will have different thoughts and ideas. And you're welcome to listen and be a part of those, but they don't have to change the firmness of where you're rooted. And yet it gives you the flexibility to adapt in your environment. Nice. And there's something else I learned about the tree is we're not all the same tree. A palm tree is not a pine tree. Right. And there are different environments that are more conducive to other trees. You couldn't take a palm tree and plant it in Alaska right. and think that it would thrive. And you couldn't take a pine tree from Alaska and plant it in Hawaii and think that it would thrive. That's true. So in your environment, in your structures that you've grown up with, you learn to thrive in your environment because that's who you are. Mm -hmm. And I love these ducks right here. I, I love that you love those. Those came in toward the end. And, really? Um, I kind of felt like they were following in her footsteps. They're just like the little, they're just... I, they're, they're, to, me, to me, there's an energy there that I call the feminine energy. And the feminine energy to me is loving, nurturing, caring. And there's something else that's really amazing that in the water, the water buoys them up and holds them. Mm. And so it literally caresses and holds them and provides for them a safe environment. Nice. And I love that. Well, and, the, and they're pointing to you, oh, by the way. My gosh. <laughs> Just saying. And I'm telling you, <laughs> I feel like I'm smiling like that all the time. I know, I know, actually. I, I, yes, I, honestly, when I first started painting this, my vision for you, for this painting, was to have um, this great tree. Like, the background the, was similar, what I pictured. But it was, it, when I went to put you in, that's when it changed. Because oh, I pictured wow. you being a silhouette, leaning against a tree, reading a book to some children. And that's where I was stopped. And, and, it, and it became very clear to me that you are not a book reader, no. you're a storyteller. Right, and the, and the so hands, that was, yes, that was, the hands yes. give that away, because when I'm telling a story, my hands are all over the right. place. Right, and so actually I, I, I struggled over that, and that's why I asked for those pictures, because I'm like, there's got to be something I'm missing. Because even then I was thinking more you setting, maybe holding a child or something, not necessarily the action and the, you know, being involved in it. And it took me a while to come to the point that this has to be an action picture, that you're, that you're the kids and everybody, they're involved, they're engaged, they're, they're not sucked yes. into the, to the phone or the, you know, they are, they're, they're creative, they're yes. interactive, they're it's, dreaming it's themselves and, because and of the story. Here's a couple of things, like here, this one is like, he is like just excited yeah, with the he's story. he's right there with you. <laughs> but it, it's more than just the story. He's excited about what he's learning. Yeah. And this one, who's younger, yeah, she's is mesmerized. like, wow, mm -hmm. that is so cool. And, and what I love here is, is that he is, is, I'm calling it amused and entertained and educated all in one. How you captured that face. He's, and pondering. Yes. So he's kind of pondering yeah. what you're it's saying. It's like, I'm loving the story, but it's like, wow, I never thought of it like that. Yeah. I've never like internalizing thought of it, like it yes. That. Yeah. It's beautiful. I love the colors. And I, I love how you got this, this sunset. And sunrise. And Remember sunrise. how we talked yes. about that? Yes. So that was intentional. That We did yeah, talk about that. Yeah, got a sunset and a sunrise, which is showing the, the whole thing. Like the whole, life. yeah. And, and then when I got this done, I was like, oh, it's kind of like On Golden Pond. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I know that's silly, but, yeah. you know, Andy like, Fond oh. has got nothing on me. I know. I, just, <laughs> I was like, look at all so, that. Anyway. Let me tell you, I absolutely love what you've created. And I hope that you see what I see in this, which is that life is such an amazing journey. I agree. It is just an amazing journey. Yes, it has its challenges, but the reality is when you look at life and you look at this world and you look at all the things that are around us, it just testifies to me that we do have a divine nature, that we have a spirit, we have a creator, and that this world was created for us to experience joy. I agree. And the only reason we aren't experiencing it is because we're not allowing ourselves to see the joy that is in life. So, thank you. You're welcome.
welcome. I'm so uh, happy you like this. it. I love this. I love this. So thumbs up, everybody. If you do it, send a like, man. You're gonna love this. This is this. I'm gonna put this as the front of everything I do for Little Lessons of Life. Oh, yay! Yeah. <laughs> so thank you, everybody. Bye bye.